Bring all in together. Introduction to Mud Crab Vertical Farming Part 3. Operating Envelope. For your better understanding we have provided you with this table to show the techniques and methods that we regulated in our system. We are maintaining a pH of 7.8 in our system. If we find that there is a drop in the pH value, we will use dolomite to increase the pH to the optimum level. If the pH value is greater, then we do backwashing partial water change to reduce the value. The optimum salinity level is from 10 to 25 ppt. We are maintaining a salinity level of 15 ppt. For soft shell crabs and for fattening we are maintaining salinity of 16 ppt, and for growing the crabs we increase the ppt value. At low salinity state, adding salt to the water is quite expensive so when you are running your system near the coastal area you can readily get seawater that reduces your cost. If the salinity is higher, then add water to decrease the salt content to balance state. Dissolved oxygen, 5 ppm is the right amount of oxygen required for crab farming. Mud crabs can sustain at a low oxygen rate less than 5 ppm but it affects the biofiltration as it works efficiently only in the presence of oxygen. If the oxygen is low, increase the aeration by using air pumps and by venturies to raise the level of oxygen in the system. The optimum temperature to maintain in the system is 25 to 35 degrees Celsius. If the temperature is low, crabs tend not to move too much in the box. The goal of biofiltration is to reduce ammonia to NO2 and NO3. Ammonia has to be maintained in lowest amount possible i.e. less than 0.25 ppm. Maintaining 0 ppm of NH3 is the most ideal. If the blood toxicity is greater than the optimum value, then we do backwashing partial water change to reduce the value or renew the water. Ensure the oxygen level during biofiltration process is more important. NO2, maintain nitrite at a lower concentration, in the level not exceeding 0.50 ppm. In freshwater condition, NO2 is more toxic than NH3 because of hemolymph in them which causes blood toxicity. But, in the salt water condition, the NO2 content is greater than 15 ppt because of chlorine ions that are more resistant to NO2. NO3. Nitrate is not as toxic as NH3 and NO2. It should be maintained below 50 ppm. If the ppm increases, then we do backwashing partial water change to reduce the concentration. Alkalinity, it is the buffering capability of the water. It should be maintained above 80 ppm, maintaining 120 ppm of alkalinity is appreciable. In case of lower alkalinity, add dolomite or sodium bicarbonate to increase its value. High alkalinity leads the system buffer against fluctuation and acidity. The reason for reducing the pH is to increase the alkalinity of the water. Calcium, the design of the RAS system for crab farming differs from the other aquaculture systems. Because the crabs consume oxygen from the water. So, for sufficient supply, we have to maintain the range from 80 to 200 ppm of calcium. And the level can even raise up to 400 to 500 ppm. The only way to increase calcium is to add dolomite or calcium chloride to the water. We are maintaining 200 ppm of calcium in our system. You can also increase it to 400 to 500 ppm. Insufficient calcium result in thinning reduction in the size of the crabs. If you cannot provide sufficient calcium, then the crabs use the calcium from its shells for osmotic regulation and its size get reduced. Standard Operating Procedures The table we provided here is for you to note specific readings of the processes that followed in the RAS system. 
For measuring the pH, DO, temperature and salinity you can use a test kit or digital protocol. When you are using a digital protocol, then you should take multiple readings a day for accuracy. For measuring NH3, NO2 and NO3 usually we are using a chemical test kit. You can mark these readings daily or in alternative days based on your requirement. Alkalinity and calcium content measured using a titration kit. Whereas magnesium and iodine are not that important and can be measured once in a week. Backwashing must be done 1 to 2 minutes daily for sand filters.